there is that which is able to create a supply for your every need. The Word of God and the Spirit of Truth, the Holy Spirit, who helps us represent God's fullness on earth. In true intimacy, partnership, and fellowship with Him. Be a part of this and join us as the servant of God, Apostle Joshua Stelman, brings to you the Word of God with simplicity and power. Just bless his name. His presence is in this place. Lord, we bless you. We worship you. For ye are come unto Mount Zion, city of the Lord, the innumerable company of angels. Spirits of just men, they pray. Hallelujah. When, when Bishop Stan was speaking, he was encouraging us. You can know about someone when you read his books when you study about him but you know the person when you encounter him hallelujah there is a difference between knowing the word and knowing the author hallelujah how many of you truly desire to know the lord hallelujah. i will lift my voice and i will sing I will sing holy. Will you help me sing holy? Yeah, yeah. To my Lord and Savior, my God and King. I will sing holy. Help me sing holy. God is strong in this place. All the angels bow. They bow down. And they cry. Come on, join the earth. Yes, they cry. We are sons and daughters. We praise you now. And we cry.
Elohim crowning him with greatness yes we declare that you are great the power of God is strong in this place I tell you the power of God is strong in this place God in the midst of his people is mighty. Come on, sing in the spirit. Pray the spirit. Sing in the spirit. That melody is coming from the spirit. Hey, 
And he that loves me, I will love him also. And my father will love him. And we will come and manifest, reveal ourselves to him. There are a kind of people that invite the presence of God. They are not religious people. They are not those who come to church just trying to watch, just trying to be Christians. There is a realm of intimacy with God. Where you press beyond religion. You press beyond your denomination. I don't care what it is. You press beyond the experience of your parents. That's what we seek to do in Koinonia. That we bring everyone to a point where we reveal to you the reality of Jesus Christ. That is not just a religious fiction that was put 
in a book called the Bible. For he desires to meet with those who will truly worship him. That's why we pray. That's why he blesses us with his presence. Let me tell you something about the presence of God. When the presence of God shows up in a place, no matter how hardened you are, you cannot deny. Because configured in your spirit man is the ability to appreciate and respect his presence. This is what breaks a man. So you come in with all your pride and your hardness. And whilst you stand there, you experience the presence of one that your spirit cannot resist. Without the presence of God, what we call preaching is just nonsense on stage. For it is that presence. It is because of the glorious presence. See, that's why the psalmist said, cast me not from your presence said do not take your spirit away from me say i'd rather be a doorkeeper a gatekeeper in the house of god that i was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the lord hallelujah you must develop an attitude to stop managing god it's not one of the many things is your in your life are you listening to me i'm telling you this god is not one of the many things that deserve your life how could you classify him in the same category with many things when he stands in a class of his own for you are my everything my destiny you were my everything. My everything. Confess it before him. You were my everything. My destiny. You were my everything. My destiny. And you sing, I love you. tonight give us an experience give us an encounter hallelujah hallelujah god bless you please be seated you're welcome the bible says in the days of his power people shall be willing thank you jesus acts chapter 19 Hallelujah. Tonight you will not leave this place the same, I assure you. God will give you an encounter beyond what you imagine. For those of you who came for post UME, God has a rude shock for you tonight. He will leave Abu with a gift that you met the king. Breathe upon me, breath of God. Breathe upon me, Spirit of the Lord. As I lift my hands in surrender to your name, Most High, I'm truly yielding to your Spirit. And I'm walking in your love. Jesus, I adore. Jesus, I adore. Jesus, 
I adore your holy name. Let me sing the song just one more time. Please breathe upon me, breath of God. Breathe upon me, Spirit of the Lord. As I lift my hands in surrender to your name, most high, I am yielding to your spirit. I'm walking in your love. Jesus, I adore. Jesus, I adore Jesus I adore your holy name so take my heart and mold it I give you my heart transform me Take my will, conform it to yours, to yours. This is my prayer. I'm not preaching to you yet. Take my heart, that's my desire, Lord. Whoa, whoa, take my mind. Would you take my mind? Take my will. Take my will. Conform me to yours. To yours. Let my life be the temple of your spirit. Let my spirit feel the warmth of your embrace. Let me be a holy habitation where your spirit is pleased to dwell. Lord, I'm singing this to you. Let my life be the temple of your spirit let my spirit feel the warmth of your embrace let me be a holy habitation where your spirit is pleased to dwell oh lord i want to know your glory i want to offer a sacrifice of praise this is my prayer lord you Lord you are the power at work in me yeah. you're my life you're my breath you're my own blessings of your presence thank you for the ministry of the Holy Spirit my friend my teacher 
my advocate, my strengthener, stand by. The one who turns every wilderness into a fruitful vine and every fruitful vine into a forest. Lord, I thank you. It's all about you. Jesus, all this is for you, truly. It's for your glory and your fame. It's not about me. I see if you should do things my way. You alone are God, and I surrender. Lord, we are standing before your presence. We have come to meet he that is able to change. My Father, there are sick bodies in this place. There are oppressed people. Joshua Selman cannot help them. Lord, let the people know I'm not the healer. Let the people know I'm not the deliverer. Let the people know there is nothing I have that did not come from you that I'm a product of your mercy and your grace and that you desire to bring everyone into this realm of intimacy <laughs> The glory of your presence let it fill this place let the glory of your presence fill this place let the glory of your presence fill this place mantle your people with your presence oh god mantle your people let there be a holy convocation my father my father abba father my father I dare to call you my father, my maker, my father. I hide behind the cross. Let the people see Jesus. Blessed be Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Mighty, majestic, holy. I adore you. Lord, let the people feel the peace of my passion for you. Zena Maria, na 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 na, Moshe Kabala, na 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 na, Zena Maria, Rama Shata, na Masia, na 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 na, Zena Masia.
for there is more of my presence here, the Spirit of God. I desire to draw men into my presence. Come, approach my glory, say the Spirit of God. I lead you into my glory, say the Spirit of God. I lead you into my glory, say the Spirit of God. Into the beauty of holiness. Where I crown you with splendor and joy. That is where I replace your heaviness. Just worship him in one minute. Let's let the whole shows up your flesh begins to react that part that will not bend to his glory in his presence he will be refined i tell you the truth the secret of grace when you touch him, the world will know that you touched him. There's no guessing it. There's no pretending it. Hallelujah. God who sits in the heavens glory to your name verse 11 and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul so that from his body James. Who is James? James. James. Who is that? Can I see your hands? Come quick. You are awesome. 
this place You were awesome in this place There are healings going on God is healing people right about now You feel the heat of the spirit going through your body It's the healing anointing exam you are writing, there is a problem and that problem may delay you in this school. I listen to me. Pray that God will help you. And don't be rude to any lecturer. Are you listening to me? Does this make sense what I'm telling you? Don't be rude to any lecturer. You'll be frustrated for nothing. The Lord bless you. Acts chapter 19. And God wrought special miracles through the hands of Paul so that from his body were brought to the sick handkerchiefs or aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them. Listen to me. It's God's desire that we become living tabernacles of his presence. Are you listening to me? That we become vessels of glory. The Bible says there is this treasure in earthen vessel that the excellency of power might be of God and not of us. It's God's desire that we come to a point where our bodies can host his glory. Where we can host his power. Where we can host his anointing. Are you listening to me? The Bible says that Paul was so full of God. He said handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from the body of Paul. Handkerchiefs and aprons taken from the body of Paul. And the Bible makes us to realize that these handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from the body of Paul and it was used. And devils cried out. Sick people got healed. There is a realm of glory and anointing and power hear me that god wants us to step into beyond nominal christianity listen to me we live in a wicked world are you listening to me the lord has been showing me visions of the kind of demonic and satanic things 
that hell is releasing against God's people. Oppression, sickness. And now we, we have, let me tell you something and I want to warn you, listen. I believe in the word of God. But can I tell you something? Christianity without power will frustrate you. Are you listening to me? That you become full of God's glory. Full of God. The Bible says in that day. It says the burden shall be lifted from off your shoulder. And what? The yoke from off your neck. And he says shall be destroyed. Because of the anointing. In our bid to put balance between the word and anointing. People have given all kinds of excuses for not pressing into God. And we have trivialized the anointing of the Holy Spirit to a point that many people just say, look, forget about it. There's all these people manifestation all the time. Let's sit down and receive the word. What is your definition of the word? Because in the days of the apostles, they did not have what you call the Bible. So what was the word of God? Are you listening to me? A powerless Christianity will end you in frustration. I get I get messages and I meet people almost daily. And I tell you the kind of oppression that Satan is bringing, the hostility that is coming from the pit of hell does not require just the kind of Christianity where you say, John 3, 16, all things are mine. Uh -uh. Are you listening to me? Handkerchiefs, the Bible says. An apron. Paul was so full of the Holy Ghost. The power the anointing, the potency of the spirit was in him. The Bible says to a point that people were waiting for him to step out. Peter was so full of the divine life of God that when he stepped out, his shadow, his shadow. Hallelujah. Jesus said something in Isaiah. In fact, Luke 18. Let's read the account in Luke chapter 4, sorry. From verse 17. The Bible says that he went into the temple as his custom was. And there was given to him the book that was written by prophet Isaiah. And then he opened it and there he declared, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he, that Spirit, has anointed me. Smeared me, anointed me. And because of the anointing that I carry, he said, I will set the captives free. Declare liberty to the poor. It's amazing how we try to do God's work without his anointing. The anointing of God's spirit is his empowerment. It's the energizing that the spirit of God brings in us. Hallelujah. No king was ever allowed to function in ancient time until he was anointed. When the Holy Spirit comes into your life, listen to me. One of the things that he does is not just to enlighten you and cause the word of God to come alive in your spirit. The Holy Ghost empowers you. Hallelujah. He causes his anointing to be alive and to be at work in your spirit. The Holy Spirit causes you to come into the place of his ability and his power causes you to begin to walk in the glory of God. The Bible says and Stephen, full of the Holy Ghost. It took the Holy Ghost for Stephen to have just been stoned and he did not he was not angry. It takes listen, listen to me. It takes the spirit for you to do some things you want to do. Are you listening to me? It takes the Holy Ghost to love for the love of God has been shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost. It takes the Holy Ghost to heal the sick, to set the captives free. If our Christianity is true, then we must be like Jesus. And the Bible says in Acts chapter 10, verse 38, Peter speaking, he said, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. The Jesus we are trying to become like, the Bible says he went about doing good on account of that anointing and the ability of the spirit and healing all they that were oppressed 
for God was with him. Hallelujah. Are you not tired of sympathizing with the many oppressed people around you? Are you listening to me? How many oppressed people do you see around you every day and every time? Listen to me. Every time I see oppression, I take responsibility for it. Because I know that God is not limited. There is a level of glory and grace that we must step into. And when we step into that level of glory and grace, you will be able to host a greater weight of his presence. Are you listening to me? A greater weight of his anointing. A greater weight of his power. And out of the overflow of that reality, you will step in and begin to do the works of Jesus. He said, if you say you are the children of Abraham, then do the works of Abraham. That means if you say you are the children of God, do the works of God. Handkerchiefs and aprons. In John chapter 7, Jesus speaking from verse 34. It was on the last day of the feast and Jesus said, If any man thirst, he said, let him come unto me. If any man thirst, let him come. He said, and that he will drink and that out of his belly shall flow. What? Rivers. Rivers. The revelation of that river is given in Ezekiel chapter 47. When the Bible begins to talk about the river that came from the east side of the temple. And the Bible says that he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my knees. And then he measured a thousand cubits and then it was to um, you know, my, my ankles. He measured a thousand cubits. It was to the loins. He measured a thousand cubits. He said, and it was a river. That I could not pass through. He said, wherever that river went, the fish that was dead would come alive. It's a life-giving river. In fact, the Bible says, there is a stream. He said, there is a river whose stream makes glad the city of God. There is a river, the river of healing, the river of blessing, the river of power, the river of deliverance. And God desires that we step into that realm where we can be useful for the king many of us listen to me we must step up many of us have been good counselors enough it's time for us to be miracle workers are you listening to me we have done enough of counseling enough of saying wow one day in the sweet by and by now it's time to be miracle workers doing the works of jesus christ there are many of you that if you will increase capacity you will end the captivity in your family you know what i'm talking about the thief cometh not john 10 10 but to steal to kill and to destroy satan has left his mark upon many lives and many families i was sharing i think it was during the minister's meeting i was saying that how that the lord showed me I saw an unusual release of the spirit of cancer. Cancer sent to different families. Breast cancer, lung cancer, cancer of the four ladies, cancer of... I saw these things and it amazed me. And let me tell you something. If your Christianity is just enough to say, wow, Lord, I thank you. There will come a time when it will be as if the Bible lied about the victory of Jesus how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power in fact the Bible says that when I came to you Paul speaking he said I did not come with the excellency of speech the world has had enough of our noise he said but in the demonstration of power that your faith will not be grounded on the wisdom of man but on the power of God there are so many situations that happen to believers and we are so helpless about it. And as helpless as we are, God is also sad because that's not the limit. There is more that he can do through us. But we must build greater capacity for his glory. When we sing the song, What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. He sings back and says, What manner of man are you? 
that you will not yield to me to see the fullness of me. What manner? Paul walked in a realm. See, listen, these guys walked in a realm that they called them gods. He said the gods are come down to us. They say Paul was Zeus and then his colleague Hermes. These were ancient gods. Men who lived like spirits upon the surface of the earth. This has nothing to do with ministry. It is the blueprint for safety for the times we are coming. You must be full of God. The anointing will be broken only to the degree. I, I, I think we, we were watching a program this evening. And we were watching something. It was a deliverance that was happening to someone. And then I was watching. And when the person got delivered, the demon entered. Another demon entered back into the person again. Hallelujah. When you are full of the presence of God, I assure you, no demon. See, the Bible says, if you read NIV and other versions, they said the burden will be lifted because of the fatness of your neck. That the anointing will increase you to a point spiritually. Peter Tan, one great man of God, was caught up in the spirit some years ago. And he saw the state of his spirit man. The body was flourishing, eating every kind of thing. And when he saw his spirit, the spirit, his spirit man, was as thin as a broom, almost dying. And God told him, this is how you are spiritually. We have many men of God flourishing physically, but carrying no power. That's the reason why people criticize miracles and criticize the manifestation of the Spirit. And everything they say, say look, just stay, stay with the Word. I believe in the Word of God. There are many people that come for miracle service and hold their Bibles in their hands. And at the end of it, you find them outside and demons are crying out of them. It is the ministry of the Word of God in conjunction with the operation of His Spirit that will bring men into liberty, that will bring men into truth. Are you not tired of the Christianity you see around? I'm asking you a question. Don't you ask questions that either... God told us a lie in the Bible or there is something we are not getting. And let me tell you something. I blame the leaders, including myself. The reason is because the degree to which we press in the spirit is the degree to which we give others opportunity to come in. When we become complacent with where we are and a few falling down here and there, there is a higher realm beyond just falling up and down. Where a man becomes full of the life and the power and the glory of the spirit. Listen, the Bible says Stephen just lifted his eyes and there the heavens was open to him. Can you imagine such a realm? Hallelujah. A man met me for counseling and he shared a story that broke me. This is what he said. He said he went to a particular ministry having a challenge, him and his wife. And after they, after they prayed, you know, prayed, did everything for him, he was desperate. Listen, he was really desperate and his wife was dying. And when it looked like nothing was working, guess what he did? You will guess right. He went to a, you know, all kinds of things and, and did all kinds of conjunctions. And now, when, when people hear this, we do like this. Don't do that until you can provide a solution. Let me tell you something. We have no right to criticize any fake person until we can do the real thing. Are you listening to me? Is, um, do you know how many people, how many of your parents, how many of your brothers, how many of your loved ones that run to native doctors every day? They come to church on Sunday. You know what I'm saying. And you know I'm not telling a lie. Let me tell you, we live in a world that has a real need. Are you listening to me? A real need. A real need. And it takes the anointing of the Spirit. Jesus walked upon the earth. And the moment he stepped into the scene, he was a breath of fresh air because the, the scribes and the Pharisees could not help. Lord, I pray that we will not be scribes and Pharisees in our generation.
that our Christianity will be an authentic Christianity that will be able to meet the needs of people and do the works of Jesus Christ. We must be dissatisfied with a few miracles here and there. If there are 150 people who are sick and three people get healed, we should be ashamed and go back and cry. Not rejoice and carry titles and say, man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Am I challenging you? Because when you challenge yourself and you begin to press into the spirit, then you open up yourself for more of his presence. When I began to study about God's generals, let me tell you something. I tell you sincerely, the generals that lived, I mean, before most of these people, they did not have the opportunity for their life to be recorded. Those guys walk like spirits on the earth. You need to study about them. And you'll be ashamed of the things we are doing. Number one, they had no worship team that steers the atmosphere. Right now, we live in a realm where you must steer the atmosphere as if the Holy Spirit has become a generator. So you say, okay, let's whine. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now the power is moving. Those guys moved in a realm of grace, a realm of power. Their miracles were real miracles. Are you listening to me? I heard of a particular man who they came and someone's i mean there was a there was a wound this big the whole family had done everything and he held it and closed it jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever what is your degree of hunger handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from the body of paul do you know something I told myself one day if I have the opportunity to preach in a pastor's conference I will do something I will carry one person on wheelchair one blind person one amputee and I'll tell them follow me for the ministration I will line three of them here and say anybody that cannot heal these three sit quietly and let's press now we can laugh and feel nice but the native doctors are corrupting people they are corrupting our families all kinds of things are happening there are people who are dying satan's kingdom is advancing i i, I was watching a, a program again this evening and someone was saying how that he was in the occultic thing and he said he single-handedly won more than one million souls single-handedly i said god with our media we rejoice and say blue roof is full and we should be ashamed of ourselves are you listening to me hmm. bible says woe to them who are at ease in zion when there is a dissatisfaction in you you are ready to press further tonight i brought you to tell you that the realm that we are in the spirit there is a higher realm there are many of you who are sick here. you have been sick for long your families are sick is that true you have prayed for them nothing happened what are you doing about it anything pinching you from inside or are you just complacent for our fathers of old press into god jacob held him and said i will not let you go i will not let you go i will not let you go that a time will come your guitar stiff strings will be more than what it is today that as you stand before the nations and strike one chord one chord it will reverberate the hearts of men we live in a generation with many christians and nobody can tell us a very concise plan of god concerning boko haram we have men we have men of god all kinds of men prophets apostles we should be ashamed of all these our titles When Naaman sent, Naaman was sent with a letter to the king of Israel. And he went and he gave him. The king was afraid. Elisha said, why are you afraid? Call that man to come and let him know there is a prophet in Israel. I don't know how many of us can make that kind of statement. Yes, we have celebrated HIV, tuberculosis 
hands us. We have seen the grace of God, but it's nothing compared to what God wants. Can I tell you something? Listen. If this is my ministry inside this room, I tell you if I can solve your problem, the whole world will come and join the queue. Are you listening to me? Even if they will reach just, they will be patient. Do you know how little the solution of mankind is? Many people are not pressing into God. It takes sacrifice, friends, to get to that realm. It takes sacrifice. That's why many people are not pressing. That's why the few that press, when they get there, they are the only ones and pride kills them. Because the sacrifice is too great. When they get there, there is nobody in their class. Are you following me now? One of the greatest men that I respect, Prophet Kobus, who has stepped into a level of the miraculous that I'm satisfied with. In one service, they brought out about 200 people on wheelchairs and crutches. Now, that's, that's the work of the kingdom. The day everybody enters here and we prophesy to you and we say in the name of Jesus, receive a miracle in your family and instantly you receive a phone call from your father. Even you will know that something different has happened. I assure you, next week, Koinonia, by four, you will be here. All your loved ones will live wherever they are. Do you know the right race of man is to look for solution? I assure you, if they find the real solution, they will come. How many barren people move among us all the time? We pray and feel like men of God. Ah, tonight I'm here to challenge you. In your room. In your room. You can preach 100 sermons. If you raise one person from wheelchair here, you will do publicity without a poster. And many people will come, even if you come and complain, they will just say, let's just Embedded in the heart of every man is the need for every real solution. And let me tell you the truth. The fact that many people are skeptical about us means that there is, we are not yet providing that degree of the God life. Because people will look. Jesus was an awesome wonder. Let me ask you a question. Please, let me ask you a question. Please come, Aaron. Sweetheart, please come. You're a student here? Yeah? You're in demonstration. All right, listen to me. If Jesus were to appear to you right now, let's assume I am Jesus. And he says, what do you want me to do for you? What will you say? You will run and carry your list. That means, the, that means you have problems. You are just laughing. The truth is you are not confident of the solution that is being put. That's why you are quietly hiding it and say, let's manage what is there. If, if Jesus Christ, if we are truly his representatives, are you listening to me? How many of you can step in to a meeting and be sure that you'll be healed? Be sure that you'll be changed. That when they say, in the name of Jesus, you are blessed, you are sure that that word will come to pass. Are you listening to me? That this lady is here. If I am Jesus Christ, what, what, what class are you? JS3. You are going to write JSC. You are finished. Now, if I am Jesus Christ and I come to you and I say, sweetheart, your JSC is A, will you doubt me? Why? Because I am Jesus Christ. Is that not true? Now we say, as he is in heaven. Listen. Listen. Listen, we say as he is in heaven, so are we in this life. But how come if I tell you be blessed, the truth is you are not seeing all of the blessings in your life. You are just afraid to tell me the truth. Are you listening to me? We gather people and claim to get them filled with the Holy Spirit, struggle over them, struggle over them, turn their head up and down, and then carry our frustration and go away. And the people are irritated. They know there is no power there. Hallelujah. It's amazing that in the midst of this lapse, we have men of God who make such boasts. They say the man of... Do you know, I get very ashamed Every time they say, now let's introduce the man of God, apostle. And before they start, people are shouting. 
I'm saying, okay, Apostle Josh, Apostle Paul, Apostle Peter, Apostle this, do we match? So when people are saying, Kai, look at the demonstration of the power, look at this, uh -uh. I'm telling myself, I will not let anybody lie to me. I know the standard. The world is in a big need. We are celebrating ourselves like this because we have not been exposed. Go to the village and see the preparation that demons are doing. You will know we are joking. You know all this falling down doesn't impress them. It's just us that are hyping here. You go to the village and see a man divide a pot into two and pour water and you are seeing the other side and the water is boiling. Come on now. Even you, when you see that kind of thing, you will look at that man. I'm stirring up a real Christianity of power. And the truth is, when he finishes, when your father cannot afford your school fees, after going to the man of God and praying and sowing seed, prophet's offering, apostle's offering, every kind of offering, it doesn't work. I assure you, your father is going to the village. Except the problem is not too much. How many sick people leave Chica? Straight, they pass our churches and go to the villages. Some of your parents, have they not done it? We all came to Shika and prayed for them. Gathered around like men of God and made our boast and our noise. And nothing happened. And while they just look, they say, thank you, man of God. In their heart, they already know there's no hope. And somebody calls them and says, sorry, um, we, we, there, is, there is one Baba. And now you can sit down and easily say, how can a man go to a Baba? You are not yet desperate for solution. A woman who has been around 10 years, 12 years, no children. Any suggestion will make sense at that point. Are you listening to me? You are here struggling and we cannot even prophesy and say you will graduate in spite of your courses. I tell you, go to a native doctor in Zaria and see if you will not do something that will change your result and you will graduate. Are you listening to me? A lady who is shouting and saying, no marriage, no marriage. And we are here saying, okay, let's manage the situation. What is the psychological implication? When you were 12, what happened? Look at that nonsense. And you get to a native doctor. As soon as you are entering, he tells you, born on the um, 16th of August, your name is Grace. Come and sit down. There's a seat I've prepared for you here. And this pot is boiling. I know you like Stephen. So what else? Tell me. And say, Baba, it's true. And you see some of our parents as dignified as they are. See how they become children in the presence of devils because they are desperate for solution. They can come and sit here in church and we'll give them nice seats. But the native doctors say, enter with your back. And they're entering because they are desperate. So, yes, and the man stands. He said, now sit down. He said, if you turn back and you see your father and your mother, your dignified people, man of God standing and we fold our arms and say you know uh, the Lord appeared to me don't lie to us don't tell us lies again because we need to be seeing the fruit of that appearance stop telling us lies that you saw Jesus and you saw angels because those who saw Jesus and saw angels in the Bible we know what happened to them let me tell you the presence of one angel killed 150,000 people those who chorus and seeing angels every minute every second come on am I challenging you tonight I'm shaking off things that the Bible says that David played his heart and something happened to Saul. A spirit left Saul. How many demons and principalities and powers lead the praises and worship in our church? Unaffected by the power of worship. Thank God for the excellence. Thank God for the backdrops. Thank God for everything. Am I challenging you? What is your concept of Christianity? It says, out of him will flow rivers. Rivers. What you see today that you call a blessing and the power of God. Do you know it's just one step out of the cave compared to where God wants to take us to? We insult people and said they have gone to do all kinds of diabolical things. So why don't you help them? 
Satan does not create anything. He only perverts. Can we have a voice that will give us authentic biblical Christianity? Do we have men like that? That you can come to me with no job and you're already smiling when you see me because you are sure that you are going back with a job. Receive! 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 And we're sweating and the protocol runs with a handkerchief. So you're joking. Nonsense! I'm not ashamed to say it. We should be ashamed of ourselves. We're getting frustrated with all of these things we do and we sugarcoat our Christianity. You know what? God is angry, let me tell you. God is not happy about it. Oh God, give me members. Let Koinonia come and fool and we stand and we look at the many people. But there are people with needs. Real needs. And it's amazing. There are many ministers who are complacent. You just sit down on Sunday share one but i don't care whether you are quoting scriptures from genesis to revelation if it's not helping people to become like christ and really meeting their needs and breaking if your gospel is true satan should react to it i don't mean reaction satan should oppress you the people should be free it says and ye shall know the truth how come we teach we have sessions and sessions of weeks of teaching and i tell you demons attend all the sessions and only certain lower demons just manifest and we stand as men of God, we are nodding. But you know the real people who have demons. You can't go and meet them because you know the demons won't go out. You know the real people. There are people troubling our fathers and our mothers. We know that if we had, if I gave you power right now, that everyone, every demon you shouted on will go. Some of you will enter bus this night and say, Uncle Sam is leaving my house once and for all. Why are you unable to go? Hallelujah. A minister finishes ministering. And when he finishes, he says, pray for me. I'm expecting a comeback from Satan. What the heck are we saying? Jesus casted out a legions of demons and slept sound. The only reason why they caught him was because he gave himself. They took him to a cliff. And he just walked through there. And he said, as the Father has sent me, so send I you. As the Father has sent me, so send I you. That you can stand and look at your sisters and say the error of barrenness, the error of waiting, dying at 24, dying at 25 is over. This is not the issue of man of God. You are coming with an anointing full of the Holy Ghost. This is what I cried and I told God. I said, Lord, if you are not going to take me to this level of Christianity, let me stop ministry. I'm fooling myself. Thank God for all the things that have happened. Thank God for the supernatural supplies and the grace of God. But there is more. There is more. We admire men who have stepped into that dimension. Or a bit of it. And then we pray all the time and say, the Lord is going to send a revival how will it come is it not going to come through us listen there is a price but i want you to know that god wants us to pay that price to enter into that level are you listening to me because satan is not sleeping about your case satan is nervous about your manifestation and he's not going to rest and if all we will get up and do is just ba 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 thank you holy ghost holy ghost Holy Ghost! And demons are watching and say, I wonder how demons look at you. They say, what in the world is going on here? Power! And we shout. Jesus looked at a raging storm. He lifted his hands and said, Shalom, be still. Talk about authority. What manner of man? We struggle for hours with demons. He looked at the money. The demons were begging him. I've never seen a service where we come to and all the demons come to the front and say, please, ministers, before time for someone, we know we are going out. Can you send us to Shika instead of Jiwa? That's what they did for Jesus. 
The demons made advances and said, let's negotiate. We are sure we are going to leave. Nothing will make us stay, but please, just send us to the pigs. And Jesus said, go, go, go. Right now, what we glory in, what we glory in is to call a lady out. And then once she's shaking, you just want to prove, look, let me tell you, we are doing things to cover for our laziness and lack of hunger. You just find one yielded lady who is moving. And like, now, I'll just touch you with one finger. What the heck is that? There are real sick people. If you are really a miracle worker, do it. Thank God for the growing of small, small legs. But what of the one who doesn't have anything? Can they come for miracle services too? Are they invited? Are they invited? Or are there some... Do you know... Listen, listen. Do you know what it means? When blind people, lame people, crippled people sit down and come to our services and we're shouting, What manner of man is Jesus? Then when we get to the place, we made... And immediately they say, He made the blind to walk. You see, entourage. And the man of God is stepping in. Now the man of faith and power. He comes to sit down, wastes people's time, makes all kinds of noise, throws a few people on the ground, one migraine here, one cancer, one wheelchair, and as he's going out, we all boast and clap. Shame on us! should get up and come. There is a higher realm. Three men shook cities. How many men of God do we have in Zaria and in Nigeria? And yet evil is just thriving as if there are no men of God. When Paul entered a city, demons responded from the headquarters and ran and the three two men paul alone covered asia minor no flight no nothing full of the holy ghost charles g finney these were men that stepped a bit into that realm listen to what charles g finney would do this is what he would do round the city he's walking around while he finishes praying guess what he will do he will just walk out of the city suddenly men will start falling down from everywhere people are just preparing in their factory the power of God hits the people if we have that kind of thing happening in our generation the man who built it Joshua Selman and will say now come and sow sow, sow, sow everything sow let me tell you something the day God will judge the people who are sowing all the time, we, are, we, we just let them package your seed and sow into this anointing. What anointing? It's because the people are so desperate. So the little that is there, they pour themselves to it. But there is a God that sits in heaven and he desires for us to step in to a higher realm. We're going to pray and God will visit you tonight. But I don't know what is your definition of Christianity. There is a dying world out there. Enough of charity. We need miracle workers. Are you listening to me? We need miracle workers. A viper beats the hand of Paul. And Paul just looked at it and shook it. Shook it. Shook it. Lord, take us to these realms. Where did you take Alexander Dewey to? Lord, where did you take William Branham to? Take us to that realm. Take us to that realm. Take us to that realm. Where you will move in a level of glory and grace. A level of power and victory. Otherwise, there is serious mourning that will come to the body because Satan will eat up everything he can eat up. Do you know something? The more you are being challenged and the more we men of God keep lying to you and not causing you to press and we ourselves will not press, let me tell you the danger. The danger is that Satan will have a free ride and a day will come, frustration will come upon the body of Christ. want to be one of the celebrity men of God who is wasting people's time and wasting God's time. I want to be a serious person. I told God that anywhere they invite me for a meeting, I'm going there for serious business. I assure you, if we step into this realm of power, you will know that you are a blessing to the world now. 
your English notwithstanding, all these rubbish things we put as excuses in ministry. Say your lingua franca. Right now we live in a digital age. Let me tell you, if koinonia has just marks, if you are getting the kind of result that will scare you, you how did we used to meet before? Remember, we are meeting where on the floor. And we have many men of God. You put balloon. You put this. The the P if the P A has his own cap. This guy has his own cap. Whether we wear bandana, whether we wear cap, whether we wear green, white, green, whether we wear football jerseys, nothing will replace the absence of fire. Nothing. See the reason why ministries compete. They are only covering for lack of fire. I assure you, no man who has real fire has time for competition. Hallelujah. I want to be that kind of person. I know people who accept God helps them. Their situation is hopeless. I went to Shika one time. I prayed for a lady. I tell you, I, I felt how powerless my prayer was. I hope I'm helping you tonight. I'm the apostle Josh you call. But I'm telling you this. There is a higher realm. And we can either pretend it and continue doing ministry or repent from ministry and step into a life of glory. That's what I want you to encounter. I've repented for ministry since I've repented from it. There is a higher realm. There are many of you that cry in your hostels and you come and just sit down and say, Lord, would you touch me? And we're here laughing. Tell your neighbor, uh huh, uh huh. How does that bring healing? Sit down. Satan will keep being attractive until the day the sons of light come out. If I spit on you and your family receives a breakthrough, I assure you, you carry a container and come and say, Josh, where is that anointed saliva? As 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 smelly as it is, you will say, No matter how fine you are. This is how desperate people are for a miracle. Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open the floodgates of heaven? Let it rain. Father, let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. The rain of new levels. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. one of you listen to me do not think this teaching tonight is for men of God I assure you you will deceive yourself the teaching tonight is not for men of God the teaching tonight is for a generation that is desperate enough that we are saying we are tired of this worship us are you ready to enter the next level of grace full of the Holy Ghost out of your belly out of your words out of this mic let it flow rivers Rivers of healing, rivers of blessings, rivers of power, rivers of grace. Let the sick be truly healed. Let the oppressed be truly delivered. Set a new standard. Rise beyond nominal Christianity. Rise beyond average. Yes, you are a man of God, but there is more. Yes, you are a woman of God, but there is more. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Let's travel. For a few minutes, let it rain. Open the
Lord, there is more. I am tired of this level. Tired of this level. There is more. I can be a better blessing. I can be a better blessing. A generation of power, a generation of miracles, signs, wonders, living fire of the glory, yield that to the spirit, yield that to the spirit, yield that to the spirit, that will confront the gates of hell, confront the gates of hell. The church, he said, I will build my church and the gates of we need to step into hallelujah I'm going to pray for you I pray the prayer and I pray that tonight there will be a baptism of fire more of the Holy Ghost you need him this is not just the issue of falling down there is urgency we need more of his power more of the Holy Ghost and I tell you listen the power of God will sweep across this place I'm angry in my spirit you must be ignited you must be ignited you must be ignited I prayed and I told my father invade the people with your glory hallelujah listen I want you to scatter yourselves around as much as you can we are going to pray and there will be an impartation no, you will not go back the same. You will not go back the same. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 What will happen tonight is a baptism of fire. The Bible says the baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire and fire. He said his word was like fire in my bones. Fire for miracles, real miracles, real deliverances. Lift your hands in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray. Holy Ghost, begin to move across the congregation right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, I invoke power. I invoke power. I invoke an anointing. I invoke power. 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 Move across the crowd. Move across the crowd. Move across the crowd. Move across the crowd. have been blessed by this message. For additional information, call 081-38-32-54-63 or 080-33-50-8735 or 
you can visit us on Facebook on www.facebook.com slash Koinonia Eternity Network International or follow us on Twitter www.twitter.com slash Koinonia underscore ENI You can also download our messages on www.forshare.com Eternity Network International Duplicating the bonus of God's life on earth.